Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about PayPal and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question I've been getting a lot recently on my other video, and that is how do you create an invoice on your PayPal? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you need to create an invoice on your PayPal? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're billing one of your international clients and they prefer to pay you through PayPal. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's handled here in the PayPal app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my PayPal account now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my PayPal account. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you want to create an invoice, what you want to do is click on this request button down here on the bottom, right? Okay. So once you click there, you will see some of your contacts that you have in PayPal. However, in order to create an invoice, what you want to do is click on this button here at the top called send an invoice to get paid. Okay. So here is the basic invoicing function that you can create in PayPal. The first thing you want to do is click on this blue button right here called bill to. Okay. So here you can go ahead and add in the email address to your client that you want to create the invoice for. So I'm going to enter an email off screen. Okay. So once you've entered in your client's email, go ahead and click on this blue add button. Next, you want to go ahead and click on this blue add item or service button. Okay. So you can go ahead and just type in whatever you want to create this invoice. So you can just do marketing client or marketing one week or one month or whatever's going to help you remember what this invoice invoice was created for. Next, you can go ahead and enter in the dollar amount. So let's put $500 and then you want to click on this blue add button. Okay. So once you can add both of those in, you want to go ahead and put a note to your customer and that way it reminds them why you created the invoice for them. So you can put due in 30 days. You can also put pending deposit, something that applies to this particular invoice that you are creating. And finally, there is this button here. If you're going to be creating a lot of complex invoices, you can open up a PayPal business account. So you can just click on that button and it'll show you how to do that. But for a very basic invoice to be created, you can do this in your personal account like I'm doing right now. And if all that looks good to you and you still want to send this invoice that you just created in PayPal, click on this blue send button here at the bottom. Okay, next you get this pop-up saying that your invoice that was created through PayPal was sent off to your customer. So they will receive an email invoice letting them know that you created an invoice for them. And let me jump on over to my email and show you what that invoice looks like that we created with PayPal. Okay, so here is a copy of the invoice that we created created with PayPal. It's very basic. You can see that the dollar amount, the invoice number, which is referenced. And then what's going to happen is when your client clicks on this view and pay invoice, they can easily sign into their PayPal account to pay the invoice that you created. They can also check out as a guest. They don't actually need to sign in or even have a PayPal account. If they decide to do that, they can pay with credit card as well. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create an invoice in PayPal, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.